Hey everybody, <clears throat> excuse me, it's your girl Tennessee Noy. Yeah, it's late night, and um, I'm getting ready to put these roasts on. Yeah, getting started, this is Christmas Eve Eve. So I'm putting these roasts on, trying to get some of these things out of my, you know, out of my way. Got cornbread cooking for my dressing, and now... Uh, so I got five rows. So I got five of these here. And I'm getting ready to put them in the uh, crock pot to get them started. So, <clears throat> yeah, we got to get ahead. And that's what I'm trying to do. Get ahead. So, um, let me prep these. Hold on. I'm rinsing them off. I'll be right back. Okay. I got five beef roast in here. They're pretty thick. So I have five of them in here. I just washed them. Now I'm going to put them in the uh, slow cooker. I'm going to show the lining I'm going to use. Someone asked me about the plastic bag that was in my slow cooker. It's called a slow cooker liner. It's backwards, but yeah, that's what it's called. Comes in a box like this. So it looks like this when you put it in there. Now I'm using two large crock pots. This helps you with a whole lot of cleaning. Open like that. Fold them over. They will not burn. And when your meal is done, just lift these out. Throw them away. Yeah. So hold on. Okay, these are the seasons I'm going to use. Black pepper, onion salt, garlic salt, uh, onion powder, garlic powder. Some wild mushroom herbs, Sam's Club, French onion. An all-American butcher's blend. It's like a seasoning, too. Some savory Swiss. Very good. And a little tropical sazon. And I'm going to also put some, uh, well, I've already shaken it on there. A little touch of love. I'm going to throw some banana peppers in it. Green pepper and onion. Onion soup mix on it. And I'm going to sprinkle a little flour, seasoned flour. Okay, so I'm going to put my season on both of them. I got three in one pot and two in another in the other pot. No need turning out because this right here is going to all cook together. That was the garlic powder. And being in a slow cook, it's going to go all over. This is black pepper. putting it between the roast and it's going to get between it anyway so this is some of the wild mushroom it 
This is some of the savory Swiss. The all-purpose blend. That Swiss show smells good. Onion powder. The French onion. Onion soup mix in each one of them. Now this is gonna get gravy, so gravy Christmas Day. We're just getting it done and getting it seasoned up. Oh, and I'm also add some celery to it. Peppercorn juice. Now this is not one of those Mississippi I just like the taste of it too. So. I don't come back and tell me oh that's not right. well it is right. It's what I want in it. <coughs> so I don't know why um, we have people who are trying to tell you how you eat yours. You put what you like in yours. And I'm going to put what I want in mine. Yeah. So, now I'm just going to rough chop this celery up in here. Yeah, I'm cutting all of it up in there. Now, I'm not a big fan of celery. Everything is just going to be a rough chop in there. Because <clears throat> it's going to cook down to, you know, soft. You're not going to really be able to see it or anything. And put the green pepper in there. <clears throat> Got some onion pieces in here. Gonna use all of it. So I have a cutting board here. I'm gonna. And I know I'm not putting a towel underneath because I'm not going to use it that long. So it's not going to move around. I appreciate y'all telling me. <clears throat> if you see me with down under there and it's moving around. I'm just doing a rough chop here just to put it in. green pepper. Mm. 
green pepper adds a whole, and onions add a whole different flavor to this roast. Oh my goodness. Green pepper and onions really a must, but if you don't like them, don't use them. But in Tennessee, North opinion, my opinion, it helps. Now I'm gonna let these cook all night. And we're gonna add some of this tropical Sazoon in it. Very good flavor. Now we're going to add our flour. This is going to help the gravy when I uh, make the gravy on Christmas. Gonna help the thickening. Yeah, I'm gonna make take the juice from them and make gravy with it. So, and you saw I didn't put any salt in here. Mm -mm. Cause a lot of this stuff has got some salt to it. And you don't want it in there. So, and before I turn it on, I'm going to shake a little beef bouillon in it. And that's that. Yeah. So, hold on. Let me get them in the crock pot. Have to put the onion over in this other one here. I had it on the side, but somebody will come back and say, Oh, you forgot that onion. No, nah, I'm putting it in. I'm going to add some water to it. I'm not going to have a whole lot of water, but about midway, because this is going to cook down, tenderize, and make juice, and from that juice, I'm going to make the gravy. Let me get them in the cooker. Okay. I got 20 pounds. This is two 10-pound bags of chicken. I'm going to sit it in some water so it can start on throwing for tomorrow, and... And I got my four packs of beef, um, smoked sausage for my um, jambalaya. And I'm going to use red beans in it. My son likes beans in it. So. And some of them don't like beans, so I'm going to make half and half. Half with beans. I got three cans. I'm going to use canned beans instead of the dry ones. Ham is out. Got my butter I'm throwing for the cake. So in the morning, I'll get up and off and running. So, yeah. Oh, and I'm also making banana pudding. Okay, here's my bananas for the banana pudding. One box of vanilla wafer. Got another one over there. And three of the gallon cans of sweet potatoes. Yeah, I'm going to use the cans. Yeah. So I'm getting all my stuff in order. So I can get up and get to running. Tomorrow. Yeah. 
So, I'm going to end this video here. And so I don't have it running all night. And um, um, tomorrow, before I get started on this stuff, I'll show you what the roast looking like. Somewhere in there tomorrow. Yeah. So, I'm going to end this video here. This is just showing you some prep. Um, so if you like anything about this video, it's a short one. Like, share, subscribe. Yeah, tell someone about Tennessee North. Gonna show you a little more tomorrow. Bye now.